Nothing. What does it look like I'm doing, It bird? looks like you're doing a lot of nothing. We don't have time to do nothing. We're trying to put a show together. You know what? I've had it up to here, putting a show together with you. Give me that. If we don't put a show together, then we don't, don't have me. jobs. Don't touch me. What are you doing? I'm f***ing daydreaming, Bird. What does it look like I'm doing? We don't have time to daydream. Start daydreaming about putting a show together. Don't touch me, Bird. Or what? Touched you. Touch me one more time, Bird. I'll touch you one more time right there. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Try me. Boop. Get up, you sissy! I didn't hit you that hard. Bird! Bird? Bird! Wake up! Oh, why do you keep calling me Bird, Eric? I'm Stevie Salas. Oh, sh. This is Stevie Solace and welcome to Arbor Live. Tonight, our show features one of Canada's hottest new bands, Mother Mother, along with the guitar virtuoso, Richie Kotzen, and the original thrash metal icon band, Voivod. Also, some of you peewees out there might know this girl as Emily Young from the Twilight movies, but we know her as Tinsel Corey, and tonight she'll be performing on Arbor Live, accompanied by yours truly and Marcos from the band P.O.D. So buckle up, sit back, and let's do this thing called Arbor Live. Wash up with the 
Are we rolling? Hey, it's Stevie Salas from Arbor Live. I'm sitting here with Mother Mother. Tell us a little about yourself. Where are you guys from? Vancouver? What's your name? Ryan? Cool. So what do you guys sound like? You know what you could sound like? Stevie Salas, the sun and the earth. The essential, volume one. That, that'd be a good start, man. Hold on. Might be hooking up with two chicks tonight, bro. Yeah. So do you ever hook up with the chicks in your band? Who plays the keyboard in the band? Cool, I play guitar on this album. Stevie Salas, be what it is. It's available at Amazon. Did you guys ever play with Bernard Fowler? What, what, what kind of influences do you feel like influences your sound? Uh, you know what I hear? Bourgeois tag and simple minds. It's funny you mentioned bourgeois tag because uh, Stevie Salas actually sessioned with Brent Bourgeois and Larry Tag, you know, way back when. Great guys. What, what were some of your influences? When can we catch you live? Well, I'll tell you when I'm playing. I'm playing with Bernard Fowler this summer. We're going to be in Germany. We're also going to be playing in uh, Europe. What type of keyboards do you play? You know, I used to have a keytar. They wanted to sponsor me for a keytar one time. I was, they wanted me to switch to that. You know, right when, right when uh, you know, Eddie was going into the keyboards and stuff. Hold on a sec. I just got to answer this chick back. She's still working on the other one. What I like about you guys, it's like this clean sound, you know, and every, everyone was saying, dude, you gotta check out Mother Mother, Mother Mother. I already have two mothers. I don't need a fourth one. Are, are any of you guys mothers? <laughs> First of all, you should always bring a CD with you like mine, Stevie Salas. The Sun and the Earth, The Essential Stevie Salas, Volume 1. I've got Volume 2 coming out next summer. This is a pretty good photo of me. Can we get a close-up of that photo of me? You know, and that brings me right back to what you guys are doing with this new sound. You know, it's just so clean and new. And it was like, all right, well, you know, this is your chance. You're on TV to talk about yourself. I really, you know, I feel like we got to know Mother Mother. So you guys got any more questions you want to ask me? Hey, Stevie Salas from Arbor Live. We're here with Mother Mother, and it's been a great interview. And keep on watching. <laughs>
Yeah, well, I'm sitting here backstage at Arbor Live with Tinsel Corey now. She's, like, becoming a massive movie star. <laughs> and she's a little bit... She gets a little angry with me because it seems like out of the blue, I'll like take off to some exotic little Africa or somewhere, and I'll get in, all of a sudden I'll get a text from you or an email. Where you at, diva boy? Sitting in Simbia. <laughs> well, actually, yeah, I'm in Costa Rica or I'm sitting on a beach in Hawaii. Figures. No, every single time I text you or I like call you, you're like on some like exotic beach place. I don't even think you work. You don't. <laughs> You happened to see me in People Magazine? No, you didn't. But we happened to see you in People Magazine. What are you doing in People Magazine? What a celebrity. Oh, my God. It was Us Weekly. Tell me what it said. Um, it said that I play Emily in Twilight New Moon and that I'm awesome. Do you get to kill people? No, I don't get to kill people. But um, Are you a good guy or a bad guy? I'm a good guy. Good girl. They exactly. say she's mean and wicked, just like in person. You know what? It was probably about my new movie, Stained, where I play um, a uh, schizophrenic serial killer. Better watch out. You're not a, not a very far stretch, though. You're supposed to be an actor, which means you're supposed to play a role, <laughs> not just be yourself. <laughs> In Twilight, I play this character where um, my fiancé, the first time he turns into a wolf, he, like, slashes the right side of my face, so I have this, like, big scar on my, on my face in the movie. Why didn't you see my movie? I haven't had, I haven't got, I all friends. I, cause all I do is work. I, we, you know what, you know what he yeah, has? he's on the beach. Well, every time we run into each other, you're always on location filming somewhere. And so you work quite a bit. Yes. And, and this was much more of a Hollywood blockbuster style movie, right? And so, as opposed to when you're already indie, want to like, um... Well, a lot of the stuff I've done is Canadian, so it doesn't really get the exposure in the States. So, I mean, this is the first blockbuster film that, I, that I've ever done. Did your life change a little bit? Are you, like, rich now? And you're, like, traveling around, new car, big house in Hollywood. <laughs> I know you're, like, Hollywood living, good country living. Uh, no, I'm not rich, no. <laughs> no, sure. You look rich. Yeah. You're rich in, you're rich in personality. <laughs> there you go. Once you produce my album, see? Then we'll get it out there, and then I'll be rich. Well, the thing is... Now that you're getting so famous. <laughs> oh, I now might, he'll work with me. I might just have to do it. <laughs>
many avenues in music, it's because of Piggy's style. We used to uh, listen to a lot of progressive music, and I think uh, the way he was building songs, even if it was a metal attitude or metal riffs, you always sort of like uh, put it together in a way, uh, a progression, a progressive way. And I think it was uh, when we came out, it was uh, it was new for uh, for metalers to have like a different approach than you know simply rock and roll basic uh, stuff. Check this out, which is the DVD live at Cheetah. <laughs> Do you guys have a good time in Japan? Yeah, you got a, yeah, got a yeah, shot of that? Yeah. You guys need to go buy that. Uh, it was a dream come true. Uh, 25 years we wanted to go there. It was your first time to Japan? Yeah. Oh, they must yes. have went crazy. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. Some, some of the kids up front were crying and everything. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic, man. Well, I want to thank you guys so much for letting Thanks. us uh, capture your show. And, and uh, it's really an honor to meet thank you. you. Very, very, thank you. Very inspiring. Thank you.
Europe did you guys sell? 12, 15 million? No, it was about 10. Oh yeah, just 10 million. You spend a bunch of time, you're touring around the world. After how many years has the band been together? Uh, the band's been together since 1992. You sit around, you say, I got all this loot. In my free time from my big band, you start another band? Yeah, I just, I like to be creative. I like to jam out with different people and see what comes up. I'm here with you, man. Hey, yeah. Totally dig what you guys are doing, man. Yeah. And uh, it's definitely funny. I get that Canadian humor. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you look kind of Canadian. Do I? <laughs> You've been ripping the guitar, you've been playing all the arenas and stadiums and traveling around the world for years. You've been playing music with a lot of other people. But you're also getting into acting, huh? I'm trying, I'm studying. It's definitely a craft, man. Uh, it's not something that, uh, you know, it's just, it's a challenge for me. It's not like I'm trying to act to be famous. It's more like, let me see if I can mentally take this on. Because it's, anybody can say they can act and then it's all about acting good, though. You study? Uh, I, not as much as I should. Because music's my number one passion. Well, music is like what you do. You pick it up, you do it. That's your natural yeah. thing. Is acting feeling more natural? I'm learning. I'm yeah. learning. Every time I do something, I critique myself and say, what can I do to get better? All right, that's Marco from P.O.D. Yeah. Future Academy Award winner. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> According to my scientific calculations, if we hit this retard in the exact same place with the exact same amount of force, he should go back to the way he was. What if you don't hit him in the exact same spot? There's a 50-50 chance it could kill him. Those are acceptable odds. Let's do it. Okay. Now, I'll distract him. Mm -hmm. Hit him. Okay. What's up, Stevie? This chick is crazy, man. Oh, yeah? She wants me to bring another girl into the room tonight. You know, her girlfriend, they're both strippers. Yeah? That's not me, I'm not a swinger. Hmm. I'm more of a one-on-one -on -one lover, you know? What do you think, Eric? Swing away, Stevie. Swing away. I don't know, Eric. They just want to take advantage of Stevie Salas. They think it's an all-night Salas ball. Swing, you stupid son of a you don't have to yell at me here. Oh, this is them. No, it's just my grandma. Eric! Eric, dude, are you okay? Okay? I don't have time to be okay. Can't you do any of I'm trying to put a show together? Spielberg, where have you been? What do you think I've been? Directing you, moron! Eric! Eric! Hey, this is Stevie Salas on Arbor Live, and I'm hanging out with Mother Mother. Say hello, introduce yourselves. Hello, I'm Ryan Goldemond. I'm Jasmine Parkin. I'm Molly Goldemond. Obviously, they're not husband and wife. Well, not obviously, I guess. Obviously. Could be. Brother and sister, but you know, you could be. <laughs> to us, it's obvious. <laughs> yeah, to, to me, it was obvious, too, because I read the bio. Yeah. So. <laughs> Can you guys listen to the Pixies? Yeah, love the Pixies. I love the Pixies, you know. Yeah. Let's just hope that when you guys come back and do your reunion tour in 20 years, you're not all 300 pounds. Did you like study bands like that before when you were just a young guy listening to music? Study, study kind of sounds like a little officious or something. It's more just got into it, listened to it. You know, it just sort of seeped into the soundtrack of your life and it influenced you on more of a subconscious level than something that you took notes and applied to the music. And I thought you guys really were unique and refreshing. I really loved it. Thanks, Thank man. You. Yeah, it's great to hear. That's really nice. Yeah, so I'm going to try to catch you guys in Montreal. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, Please do. So I can witness the madness of the, the French-Canadian freak yeah. out from my very own self. <laughs> Check these guys out, mother, mother. None of them are, are any of you guys moms? No. <laughs> exactly. just, me and, just, just me and him. Okay. <laughs>
point of view mean I drew the bottom to the hay Melt! Young lovers with their legs tied up in knots Young lovers with their legs tied up in knots With his long tall gun A point of view game I blow the hay Long bed hair straight up My daddy's a dragon My daddy's a dragon My daddy's a dragon You said so Uh, you're a beautiful man. You have uh, raven hair trestles and gorgeous sea blue eyes. Uh, uh, could you do me a favor and try not to blink? I, 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 need, I need the audience to see your eyes. You have uh, shoulders like Greek pillars and you're you have a gorgeous package. I, 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 I just gotta say. I mean, are, are you serious right now? I mean. I, I couldn't be any more serious. But listen, listen, but listen, first listen. Off, first off, right here where you are, like this little thing here, this space belongs to Richie, first off. So if you wanna do anything, you know, I'm just gonna step back and let you do whatever it is you wanna show me to do, and then I'll come back in the mix. I have a suggestion. Could, you, can I get a hero light on this package? It's gorgeous! I want a hero light on it! Uh, Richie, I, I, I have a suggestion for you. Uh, I, I, I need to showcase this gorgeous package. And what, 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 I, what I need you to do is you, you stand too far away from this microphone. I need you to get right, right up here. I want that piece of steel right up against this piece of steel. Clinkity, clankity, clinkity, clankity. You know what I'm saying? No, I, I hear exactly what, uh, what you're telling me to do, but um, <clears throat> I think you, you need to understand that uh, that, do that doesn't fall into the parameters of, of what Richie Kotzen would instinctively do. Does that make sense to you? I don't want to get up on the mic and do what you just did. So you're telling me to get up and, and hump the microphone. You know, yeah. I don't want to do that. I don't want to get up and hump them. I mean, I stopped doing that stuff when I was like a teenager back in the 80s. You know, I mean, that's a long time ago. That's it! No humping! I don't want any humping on this set! This is a no hump set! Get rid of the humping! <sighs> so can we play now? Richie, you just keep doing what you're doing. You're magical. Magical, my brother. As for you, retards, I don't want any more going on in this set. Not even my own. Now let's shoot this sucker.
first time I saw you before I knew you was on the cover of Guitar Player magazine. What people didn't realize about Richie Kotzen is Richie Kotzen's an incredible singer, an incredible soul singer. So in the old days, you used to come over to my house, you used to play me these little cassettes That's of you right. on a four track singing old East Memphis soul songs. And everyone always thought of you as this, just this shredder, Satriani, Steve Vai kind of guy, but not realizing you were the singer. Don't you think that I don't yeah. love you, baby? Always this weird thing where people never knew what to do with me because I would get this thing. Well, you sound too soulful. It don't sound like that because you don't look like that. You shouldn't. You got to sound more more hard rock. And it was a big fight, and it was a continual thing. And it's kind of why I, I got to a point where it's like I'm just going to do what I'm doing, and and that's because I'm happy doing it. And, and that's kind of where I'm at now. And with the internet and stuff the way it is, it's kind of worked in my favor because I go all over the place and play my music, and I'm playing the music that I want to play now. So. your fingertips? Thanks, Steelbird. I can't believe this. They even get along. I can't have Steelbird acting like me and being cooler than I am. This has got to stop. My only hope is that if I can crack his big Last of the Mohicans Indian Melon right in the same spot that I was supposed to hit Steelbird Stevie in the head in the same spot when I missed and hit him in the head, in the exact spot that I was supposed to hit Steelbird when I hit his head, which would then make he, him be me again, and I just gotta do this. I got it! What was that noise? It's sights and sounds, it's not noise! It's genius, Steelbird. We gotta get Eric to book him right away. What? F you! I don't have time to f you, Eric! We got a show to do, you idiot! 